Well, how do you guys feel about Sunday, and especially comparing to what the scrimmage last year, last weekend, you know, kind of what you figured this, how different this experience might be when you get out of it? Yeah, I think I think we're just excited more than anything, uh, just to get out in front of our fans again and um, get to be on the same bench again for the for a second time after the scrimmage last weekend and um, just play, you know, and have some fun and and put all that hard work we've had in practice into a game and be able to take it out on somebody else. What was your reaction when Ray went down? Ah, uh, it was it was. I think we were all pretty, you know, stunned and and, and scared a little bit just because you know he he had been. Hurt last year with the same problem and and it didn't look too good, but um, yeah, it was it was definitely a scary moment for sure. He's definitely a guy who didn't deserve something like that. He's, he was working hard during the summer, especially on his legs, and he was his legs are really strong and it's happened, you know. So we 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 all were pretty like down, you know, for like a week, but. So how, how has it gone without him? And then Caleb's been out a lot too. Are you guys keeping busy? Yeah, no, we definitely are. I mean, you know, the train never really stops. So you got to just keep plugging along. And, and with whatever guys we got, we just got to move forward and, and adjust. And I think we've done a good job of doing that so far. And, and practice has been good. And, um, you know, Caleb's been staying involved and as, as being an older guy, keeping us up and, and, you know, helping us through practices and teaching guys and things like that. So he's been doing a good job on the sideline. and. And, and Ray is really, I think, keeping a good positive mindset, and we're all there for him, and he knows that, so he's doing well so far. How has the competition been at the three and four? Uh, it's been good. I mean, me and Ryan are really kind of the only four men right now. You know, Caleb can slide to that spot, but like we said, um, he's out right now, and, um, you know, going against Ryan, like I said earlier, at, after the Red Bull game is, is, is great for me, especially, and because um, he's such a big guy for me to try to guard him every day. Is a challenge, and it's and you know he's the guy that's won the gold jersey six weeks in a row. So, I mean, I couldn't ask for a better challenge to go against every day. How Mark and how do you think long term things could change without Ray? I mean, you were already probably going to play some three. I mean, do you anticipate playing there more, and or maybe Alonzo plays a little more, or Elliot or yeah, shake out. I know it's hurtling. Right. Think, yeah. Um, yeah. No, I, I'm definitely going to play some three. Um, I've been getting reps there lately. Um, and trying to get as much as many reps in practice as I can, because like I said, me and Ryan are the only four men, so it's tough for me to slide to the three and get reps there, because no one can really slide in at the four. But at times we can do that. And Elliot, um, you know, a veteran guy as he is, you know, being a third-year guy, really knows the program well as at the three, and and knows that spot really well. Um, and the Alonzo two three as well, yeah. Do some. Was it? Uh, how fun is it for the guys to see what TJ is doing? And- in the NBA in the last week. That's great. I mean, I spoke to him two days ago, and he was he was really really happy and excited about that. And like after after yesterday's game and the day before that, I, w- I wasn't really surprised because that's what TJ does every day. You know, he's the he's a really hardworking guy. You know, he always gives 100 percent at every practice last year. So it really like it sounds it's not a surprise for me. He's good games. He deserved it. So, Mark, what's the when you're guarding Ryan? What's the hardest part of that? <clears throat> um, I would say just the box out. Um, just trying to to get him out of the play. You know, coach always says like, you know, if you can't get it, then make sure that he can't get it. So, that's what I try to do is just to get him out of there and make sure someone else can get the rebound and not him. So. Um, I try my best at that every day, and um, yeah, I would say boxing them out is probably the toughest, toughest part. So, is there anything else you guys are looking forward to on Sunday, as far as you know, last sort of chance to get out and practice before the season starts in front of fans and everything? I mean, maybe you won't get out and practice. Or... Like Mark said, we are all excited about that game yeah. because it's a test, one, not just for for young guys, but for for all the guys because. We all been working hard during the summer and preseason, so this Sunday's game is going to be a test for all of us. So we're really excited about it.